Hey everyone, in this video as I bought the parts I thought I would uh, get this lamp sorted out so I can actually put it into service. I haven't got the bulbs yet though. So I just want to point out a few things. These are screwing lamp holders so they take that sort of bulb you know, with the thread. Now, there is a right and a wrong way to actually wire these sort of lamps up. I don't have to do it on this because these are abs absolutely fine. I just need to wire it there downwards. Um, but your live wire, which is brown here in the UK, your hot wire, that has to go on the bottom contact in that lamp holder. So the contact that makes contact with the bottom of the light bulb. That's got to be where your live goes, your brown wire. And your blue, your neutral, goes on the side contact. So if you have, you know, wiring one of these up from scratch or making one, keep that in mind. Um, and the other thing I just want to point out, that uh, it also matters, at least with this switch, which way around you put the wires. Um, the switches I took off, they're what they call a double pole switch. It um, connects and breaks both live and neutral connections. This one, it only breaks and connects one side. So what you want to do is put your live, your brown wire, on the switched side. Not the side that goes straight through. That's where you want your neutral. Otherwise, when you turn this off, it just breaks the neutral. Which means power would still be going through that, through the live, and into there. So if you accidentally took the bulb out to change it and put your finger in there, you're going to get a shock. So for these switches that I've got, I've got to put the live on this side, which is the side that switches. The other side, the neutral, just goes straight through it, just bypasses it. Right, so what I need now is another bit of cable. I did buy myself a new... Um, joiner as well. I don't... Have I got another bit this long? Because I could put the join down there, couldn't I? Actually, I believe I have. Because there's the um, joiner that came with it. I don't think I'm going to use that. Uh, I just want to see if I can get two the same length. That is near enough the same length. Um, what I'm going to do, just to make sure, uh, I'm cut that end off, go down to this end, and I'm just going to snip through that. I thought a nice new connector would look nice as I'm replacing the. Um, faulty switches anyway. I have taken one of the old switches apart and the um, contacts had actually um, basically just gummed up and uh, you know there's a bit of dirt and filth on them but um, I've actually got one apart as I've said but they're not easy to put back together. I've cleaned up the terminal so if I put them back together I could use them. It's just a being an absolute pain in the backside. How they do it in factories, I don't know. But, uh, anyway. This might be a fairly long video. and it's, it's not really a tutorial video. You know, I'm not a qualified electrician. I would have been if I hadn't bottled out of college. But, I dropped out of college. And, uh, it's probably one of my biggest regrets that was doing that. But, can't change it now. Anyway, besides, in my opinion, you don't need to be qualified to know what you're doing. I don't know which way around to put the wires and whatnot. Probably don't sound very professional, do I? <laughs> I know where to put the wires, I do. You put them this way around. <laughs> Bang. Oh, I got them wrong. Actually, I will say I have never gone bang yet. The first time for everything, so I don't want to talk that up. Right, so 
If I can lay that there, I literally need to just trim a smidge off. Smidgen off that side, smidgen off this side. side. Yeah, I've even done um, work experience when I was at high school with a local electrician. He's retired now. Um, but I did the the usual two week work experience that you do at high school. I presume after all these years they still do it. Um, plus they were running like a pilot scheme back then and I got just randomly drawn out of a hat as it were to um, participate in a pilot scheme where I did two days a week throughout the whole of year 11, my last year at school on work experience and I believe that was on a Wednesday and Thursday and then Fridays or Friday afternoons was um, like an activity day um, I actually enjoyed it, I learned a heck of a lot and the electricians I worked with, you know I was more or less the gopher, you know, I went and got all the tools and materials off of the van but they did get me doing a lot of practical work work they'd uh, you know put me on um, just small jobs like connecting up a socket putting in the chasers um, mixing up the render because apparently I was very good at that <laughs> so that was my key job mixing up the render One switch done, basically. Swap screwdrivers for the crosshead. Yeah, and I, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yes, they did the usual pranks, you know. Sent me to the van for non-existent items. I wasn't smart enough to um, catch on. <laughs> Not until 10 minutes later after trying to find what they sent me to do. I can't remember. Sent me to get something from the van once and I can't remember what it was. But I know it took me about 10-15 minutes to actually realise what they'd done. <laughs> if I could afford it, I'd go back to college and restudy it. Right, so there's one switch. I'm just hoping I can get two of these cables into that connector I got. No biggie if I can't. I just thought, you know, I'm putting on two new switches. In for a penny, in for a pound, as we say here. I just thought I'll get a connector while I'm at it. And hopefully. Um, hopefully uh, get to use that as well. I've always been fascinated with electricity though. And yes, I did uh, go bang a couple of times in my younger years. I've given myself electric shocks as well. The last one was actually before Christmas at Mum's. There's a problem with the extension lead I was using. And I opened up the socket part of the extension lead, or an extension cord, if you prefer. <laughs> the only thing was, I forgot to unplug it from the mains. <laughs> I got a very sharp reminder that it was plugged in. I think that actually um, scared my friend a little bit that was with me. He couldn't believe I was actually still alive. The only reason I was alive is because I was standing on a wooden floor at the time. I was not grounded. And there was no load apart from my own body's resistance. I didn't even feel it go all the way up my arm. It was just tingling the fingers. That's all it was. I don't like getting electric shocks though. I'd rather avoid them where possible. Right, so I've maybe got this little switch ready. Not the best quality, to be honest, but 
it's not the worst. We've seen a lot worse. Right, sit that one there. I want to get this end sorted. I've also got a roll of flex on the floor here for this, which to be honest is about the same size as this, if not just a smidge smaller. But it's, uh, it's rated for 3 amps and it came from a reputable store, so... Ouch. But we'll see. I literally only need it to make a run from the connector to the plug, basically. So I haven't got a long enough bit. I can, I've got all wire here that I can use for this. If it weren't for the dodgy switches, I wouldn't be doing this. But And the fact the switches were like down there on the bloody floor, not up here. Why they did that, I don't know. Right. And cheat and turn the switch round. Right, I literally need just to trim that off again. Just a smidge. It's unusual to hear a helicopter that low out there at this time of night. Right. is these days there's so many sort of tutorials and information videos out there on YouTube you can just look things like this up yourself if you want to do it yourself a number of things I've actually learned to do myself from watching YouTube videos basically and as I don't have an electrical regulation book um, I sort of keep up to date by watching electricians online on the old tubes and this is going to be an utter pain in the ass to get that on there isn't it not so just bend that round a bit so when I hook it I know you probably can't see a great deal at the minute there we go, put it in there ouch God, I hate slotted screwdrivers. Or screws. Absolutely hate them. Right, so that's in. There is no actual cord grip. I don't have to put an extra bit of plastic in there and screw it down. The cord grip is built into the casing. So when I put these together like that, the casing acts as the cord grip. Get off. <laughs> right, that's the bit of cable I want next. I'm going to have to pause you and drop you down a bit because the last part we've got to do is down there right oh dear oh. I'm actually expecting a parcel tomorrow a viewer on my Lego channel who I've also got as a friend on Facebook is sending me a little gift no doubt some sort of Lego model. I don't know what it is. In fact... That is really low and it's actually sounding like a police helicopter. But anyway... Um, yeah, he's going to send me a gift. It's already been sent, so it should be here tomorrow, apparently. Nope, I don't know if that's the same helicopter. That could be another one. That actually sounds like a rig chopper. So we've got some gas rigs out on the coast. And they, uh, obviously they fly the workers out, so once a week, sometimes a bit more, you can actually see the helicopters. <coughs> Placed all the cable. I 
I said, the only reason I bought some of that flex is just to go from the joiner at the bottom there through to the plug. example of um, you know learning to do things watching YouTube videos me and my stepdad changed the um, the leaf spring on the back of his van we're not mechanics we know how to use tools you know but uh, we basically just or he did and um, I've watched various you know, people do various mechanical things with vehicles online, you know, for years. But stepdad did it as well. And together we managed to change a leaf spring. What have I done with my Phillips screwdriver? I'm going to need that now. See where I put my cuz. I can see. Three screwdrivers that I don't want. I think I'm pretty much done up here. Didn't do a stupid thing and go and lob it onto the bed, did I? Well, there's one. I'm not so sure because I'm still hear that helicopter. That could be that the police have got boards to come out in the helicopter. I have known them to do just sort of like the odd bit of training around here. Okay, I think we're ready. Switches are done. When you do things like this you don't want to see any brown or blue wires showing through that. Because it looks untidy and it's not very safe either so we're done here. So now, I'm going to hope, Hoi! oh, where's my wildcats before I get comfortable? And that helicopter is actually circling, so I'm going to take an educated guess that uh, it is um, the police helicopter. They're probably, I've not heard any sirens or seen any police cars, so they're probably... Um, just training, doing some night training with the um, what they call Fleur forward looking infrared camera I don't know if you can hear it in the background all he's doing is just going round and round in a circle. So either they are actually looking for someone, or like I said, they're just training. I still haven't found the um, Phillips screwdriver that I was using. Oh, yeah, I have it here. I found it. I just now happened to look up. That's better. A lot better. Right, I'm going to start with these two cables because they're going to be the biggest pain, I think. Get through there, you bastard. Go on. Ow! Not one of my finger, preferably. That's typical. Contacts are bloody fell out now. Why don't they just fix the contacts in? Right. Well, good. I'm pretty certain I can get both of these into that. And I'm going to strip the wires really well with a screwdriver, aren't I? Shall we try these? Oh, will you go away, helicopter? He's getting closer and he actually sounds like he's getting lower. I don't 
don't care as long as it buzzes off. Let me know in the comments if you can hear it going round and round in the background. Right. Is that going to reach? Got more than enough there. So. I don't think I've got any cable ties so I can't tie these to the pole. Much. That went well, didn't it? I already messed that one up. Crap. <sighs> oh well, I've got about another foot and a half of cable to go. <laughs> if I keep messing it up. Ah, got it that time. But you can't guess what's coming around again. I was watching a YouTuber the other day. He was having the same issues with a helicopter that just kept going round and round. I think that was B Bishop. B Bishop. I think that was him. He was trying to film. All he had was a helicopter going round above him. Oh! <laughs> I got those spot on. Perfect length. I don't think the cops are after donuts because everywhere is closed. <laughs> That's one of the drawbacks when you live in a little town like this. Everywhere closes. You know, there's no like 24/7 store or anything. There is in this in the county. There is in Norfolk, but. Not uh, here in North Avulsion. Right, theory, this should all be the same length. If it isn't the same length, then I've gone and messed up somehow. Kind of glad the contacts come out here because it's going to make it easier put these wires in. So I put the wires in and then put it in the the doodad. I am not doing this very well at all. Well, if they're too short I'll just have to Bring back a little bit of insulation, that's all. Outer insulation, that is. Right, so there's one of the blocks. Round he comes again. What if they get bored and go round, round in circles like that? to brown and bingo two wires will go in ah, yeah I thought so thought so A little bit of 
insulation pulled back. This is the wire that's being a pain in the frickin' backside. Start flying any lower, I'm gonna see him straight outside my freaking window. I think if I did, I'd wave. Hmm, I've also realized I need a new battery for this camera because it's not lasting at all at the minute. Yes, I am getting this antsy about the wires. Right. Okay. That should make life a little bit easier. I think they might be on training exercise because they're now circling over a different part of town. Really starting to piss me off now. I'm there now. Well, freaking bad be after all this. Okay, so what have I done with the other connector block? Probably sat on it somewhere. Right, so I need one wire in. enough to temporarily twist this together. Not having fun here! You see, they make it look so easy on YouTube, don't they? I could make it look so easy if I want to, I could just cut all this out. But I don't want to. <laughs> Ouch. God damn flattered screws. Okay. Let's 
So, after all that, is that actually going to work? Nope. Because the live wire is actually too bloody long now. I need to trim it shorter. some more brown insulation back and both wires twist it twist twist these together like so Trim that little bit of excess off there because I don't need it. Then put the block on, like so. <sighs> right, it's the first one on. Yep, first one is on, so I've just got one more to do. need to pretty much do the same again but with the blue wires <laughs> just so I can get them roughly in the same length handles coming off because the rubbery bits coming off right so I just want to do that do that Now the connector piece I want has got to be somewhere on the floor around me. I don't know if this is just being awkward or if my hands are just being awkward tonight. Perhaps a mix of both. Right, that's got to go there. I need that to lay flat and I need that to lay flat. I need this to swing over both of these. Like that. fiddly end on and clamp down. Yeah, that is what I wanted. So now I've got to do tudder one now, tudder end, which is where this comes in. Well at last the helicopter's buggered off. Right. So I'll strip the ends back and go bung it in there and connect that up and yeah put it all together stick a plug on the other end of this cable and it should all work without any flickering
you see. Just throw the cable around, you know. Two bars of my camera battery left. Yep, I think it might be time for a new battery. Have to go see what I can find in a little while. Right, so. Get those off. One, two, back on my shoe, three, four, knock at the door. I don't know where the hell that came from. Let's just take out one of these cord grip screws so I can do what I did at the other end. And then just... swing that out the way. Now, of course, what I've got to do is connect Blue to blue, brown to brown. Blue to blue. And brown to brown. That's it. Where it's meant to be. Cool grip round. Bob's your uncle, I can put this together. Get the plug back on. I'm going to use the original plug that came with it as well because there's nothing wrong with it. One bar of battery left. I've no idea how long I've been filming for either. <coughs> One, where's my cover gone? Two, where's the cover screw gone? I found the cover. Put that one there. I've got a screw. There's the screw. Bloody barcode, we don't need that on there. Right. Now I've just got to decide how long a length of cable I want. Because I really think five meters is going to be far too much. I think something like that would be adequate enough. I don't want precise measurement. For Pete's sake, I cut the plug off it earlier, didn't I? What did, what did I do with that? Uh, on the bed. Two seconds. <coughs> Could have put this on, but <laughs> it's not quite long enough for my liking. The longer the better, because uh, some outlets are not easy to get to. Not in this flat anyway. Right. Downside is, I've now got to charge the camera up again, just to make another video, because I've got to do one for the LEGO channel yet. Sitting like this is not doing my ankle a lot of good. I'm a bit of a dicky ankle at the minute. Crap. Right. And that one. for these bend this one over 
like so. It's actually nice that it's gone completely quiet. They either got bored or got hungry. <laughs> yeah, most likely a training thing. I actually thought that might have been the um, air ambulance at first, but it didn't. When I looked, it didn't have any of the big lights on underneath. So it's definitely a police helicopter. That's the only one that would be circling around at this time of night. No, other helicopters haven't got any reason to. We don't have any celebrity visitors around here, so... I've actually been very cack-handed this week, I have. I had a bad day, uh, Monday I think it was, it was either Monday or Tuesday. Well, I was just frequently dropping things. So I know exactly how my stepdad feels when his problem starts acting up. Right, we're done. As easy as that. For those that don't know how to wire a UK plug, brown, blue, and if this had red and yellow, it goes up there. <coughs> Simple as that. They, I don't know if they still do, but they used to teach wiring these in school. But like I said, I don't know if they still do. Right. Turn that switch off. Let's put that on. Both the lamps have come on with no flickering. <laughs> and the switches are working. Awesome. It's all fixed and all ready to go. Nice new bit of cable down the bottom here. Still feels rather thin and flimsy to me, but what well, just feels thin, you know, rated at a three amp cable, but I'm happy with that. I'm gonna end the video here. I'll uh, see if I'm sure that well when I get to editing ding 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 ding. When I get to editing it, I'll see if I can shorten it. Because I have no idea how long this is. It's probably taken me a lot longer than I've realised, which is why the battery's gone down. But anyway, I do want to get a new battery for this. So, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this little video interesting. I've actually fixed my £4 lamp, and it cost me about £8 to do so. So, so far, this lamp is a £12 lamp. <laughs> Not bad, really. <laughs> Not bad, because it would cost more than that uh, to buy another one, a brand new one. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.